Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Infinity. Last episode, oh my goodness, mind blown. The multiverse, so much going on. Professor Fawn is actually us from the future, a far future. And then you was actually us from the future as well, where he was trying to rebel against Fawn. And there's a whole multiverse thing going on where some of us will rebel and just, there was our chaos, like the creator of Arceus and the, the free deities. And it was just, oh man, it was so cool. It was so massive and it just built the whole screen. And then we woke up from a coma and we could go and see our parents and then just like end the game that way. Or we can go back to sleep where we might not ever wake up. And basically uh, we came back and I believe the universe is still being kind of like reset um, from our chaos. We woke up in the house. We had a letter from Horn telling us to go and see him, but Lucy said that Wormwood wants to see us as well. We have no Pokemon, so we might have to run all the way back. We still have all our items and stuff, which is great. So let's uh, speak to Wormwood. Yo, nice to see you. I was worried you had forgotten about us after becoming the Trident. Okay, no, so the, the universe hasn't been reset then because we are the Trident Champion. Great. Just kidding. I know you uh, wouldn't let something like that go to your head. Oh, it might, but... I'm glad you stopped by though, I'm just wrapping up the Ego Trainer orientation. Where I give new and upcoming trainers their first Pokemon. Just so happen to have two Pokemon left, and they're the ones you didn't choose. When you first left my- oh sweet! Figured the best person to raise them would be the one that just became a champion, that's you! Hey, we got Bulbasaur and then we got um, Charmander, sweet! I know they'll do great with you, maybe they'll end up in the next Trident Tournament. Speaking of, it sounds like the tournament was such a big hit that the cruise line from Kanto has docked in Hayesport City. The SSN is a well-trotting cruise line. We've just uh, stopped at Sinnoh before docking here. Keep at it, Voltsy. You're making everyone proud. Okay, so... We got... These two. Which is great. Uh... I guess what we want to do at some point is go to, um... Obviously, Hayesport and go and find the SSN. Uh, hi. How exciting you've got a couple of rare Pokemon that can't be found in Ego. Can't wait to see how you train these ones. I'm sure I'll battle them in another tournament soon. Better believe I plan to earn the title of champion. You can try, you ain't gonna beat me though. Actually, you might beat me right now with this team. Right, so I'm gonna have to make my way to um, Professor Fawn then. Oh. Did I ever beat you? I wonder if all well, the trainers reset. That is a possibility. Got Hoot Hoot and Bumblebee. Actually, I think we came through here during the day. So, um, obviously it's night time now. When I first came through here, this trainer probably wasn't out. I'm gonna go Scratch because the rain's up. I think Scratch will do a bit more than Ember. Oh, I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen, man. Because we also got the, um, the thing that started, like, manifesting in the digital world. And then we got so much to explore, all the bits that were previously locked off. It's just so much to do. Got the SSN now at Kanto. Oh man, this game was just... Oh, it's so good. It's <laughs> so good. Like, I'm not even sure you can count this as like... Is this technically post-game? Because like... Technically, we could end the game. Kind of. Like, what the credits? So I assume you count this as post-game because we saw the credits. But at the same time... It's kind of continuing on. It seems like there's a lot more to do. I don't know. We'll see. I just thought the story ain't over yet. If we can c catch our chaos, that'd be so cool. Oh, did I never get that? I never got this. I must have done, surely. I'm not sure if things have reset. So I feel like I would have got that. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> You need to just uh, keep on going. We're almost at Sea Ridge where we can maybe access uh, oh, access the um, the PC and maybe we'll have our stuff in there. Because we know that Professor Fawn has a box where you can access the multiverse, like his you know Pokemon from different universes. That's how he gets um, our chaos. So with that, maybe we can access our Pokemon still. I, I don't know where our Pokemon went. Just so we, I'm so confused at the moment. I just want to go speak to Fawn and just see what's what's happening. So she's going to tackle. But I'm glad we do get the other starters. Like I love it when, like any game where you pick a starter and then at the end you get both starters for free. It's really good. I like that. Because sometimes you just never get to use the other starter Pokemon. Now we can if we want. I mean, I doubt I will. 
but if I wanted to, I could. You know, just having the option is always nice. Oh, this girl now was annoying. I just want to get a sea ridge. And then I can check the box, and if not, then I have to just keep running. I mean, it's not that far. One more set forms. One more. Nice. There's just so much to do. So much to explore. I think, like, once I, I'll go... I'll see Fawn. It depends what Fawn says. I think I'll probably go to the SSN, and then once we kind of finish off that little thing, if that's, like, an extra thing, we'll start off at Hayesport again, and then we'll just explore. We'll go through all the routes and stuff, explore every, like, nook and cranny, all the places we previously couldn't go. Like, I know there's got, probably got to be a Reggie rock, ice, and steel, um, somewhere located in the island, because there's that cave we saw in the... Was it the Giratina ruins? Or was it Polkias? No, sorry, not Polkias, Dolkias. It was, no. Yeah, Polkias. No, Dalgas. It was one of them. It was one of the ruins. No, it was... It was Dialga, yeah, because it was at the ice point. Or snow point, yeah. Or Diamond Peak. It was there. So that's where we want to go to to get Regigigas. Oh, I assume it's Regigigas because the Braille said rock, steel, and ice. So that would make sense to be Regigigas, right? Who knows? We'll see. It was a new... Oh my god, you've got so many Pokemon, dude. I just want to get to, um... Fawn. I have revives. I have potions still from... Whenever I bought them. So we're good for a little bit. We'll go dry needles. We shouldn't die from a, an attack right now. Critical hit, nice. You love to see it. Hit five times. How many three times still do we got a crit? No, don't put me to sleep. Why are you so mean, dude? Why are you so mean? Also, I will say, um, I'm not sure when you're watching this. At the time of recording, uh, 2.04 just came out, which is basically update the game. Like, whenever you play, just, just you know, check every now and then on the forum page and you'll see if the game's been updated. Always keep up to date because it fixes bugs or adds new stuff, you know, there's lots of, lots of reasons to update your game. Why do I need that? But after I picked my Eevee up from the daycare in Hayesport, I wanted to treat her to her favorite snack. Mickleberry, okay, I didn't have any Mickleberries, so we came all the way up here and the merchants don't have any either. Like a letter down. Oh, you haven't? Okay. If you feed the berry to Eevee, I'd be willing to give you something. Okay, yeah, sure, okay, I'll do that. Oh, no. I thought I had to talk to you to give it to it, but, uh... Let's go talk to Eevee. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for treating my Eevee with her favorite berry. Can you have one of the eggs I picked up from the- Oh, sweet! Nice! Is that like a- was that- that wasn't there before, but... Maybe it's a certain time of day? But yeah, I'm guessing that's gonna likely be an Eevee egg. Already got an Eevee. Oh, uh, hi. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what poke- oh, okay. So we can't go to the box yet, I should heal up. We need to get to press a form. If something is going on with our Pokemon. Alright. Well, that means I've got two Eevees. Oh, this egg is an Eevee. Oh. Yeah, if this egg is an Eevee, I've got two Eevees now. I can change into whatever. I think I kind of want, like, a, um... The Steel-type evolution to see what the design looks like in this game. And then... Something else. Depends how we evolve the evolutions. Nice. And Bob's Tackle, that sounds cool. Ooh! That's pretty awesome. Oh, what else? Clefairy? Ooh, Clefairy, nice. Just in time. Get a nice poison move. Ready for the fairy type. And poison, but it's all good, it's all good. More Bob Tackle. Take you out. Hey, level 11. Beautiful. And Pikachu. Yeah, we'll stay in. We'll stay in. More Bob Tackle. Just hope you don't paralyze me with static. I'm not 
shot, that's fine. Two more attacks. And then we'll go for the route. I think it's this next route, that's where um, the professor is. It's not- oh, okay. Never oh, tackle. Oh, don't potion up, dude. You are the worst kind of person. Honestly, you suck. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright. She's good to join Maybe we hit five times and get lucky. That's much better. Good, good. Potion up against me. You're the worst. Alright. Now, uh, we go through here. Yeah, we got a Spearow. Love that Spearow, so cool. Yeah, so it's this way. Gotta fight you. So definitely, the trainers have definitely reset then. Well, some of them at least. You think if all the trainers in the game have reset? Charmander, uh, it's fine, go Bob Tackle. You just think you have the scratch. It should be fine, because if you go for Ember, it doesn't matter because it's, um, because the rain. It won't do much. We are fine and nanny. Nice. What else? What else? Level 12. Good, good. And, ooh, Koki Seed. What is this? I haven't seen this before. Oh, that's cute. First time seeing that. That is adorable. And growl, okay. And one more attack. Finish you off. Put that back. <laughs> oh, dude, why are you being so mean? Okay. I just want to get to Fawn. Stop having Pokemon. Let me get the Fawn, man. I'm so. Oh, I should have gone through. Different move. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do it next time. Ah, oh, getting the Fawn's going to be so exciting. I want to see what he has to say for himself. After all this. So, just. Oh, man. If you missed last episode, why are you watching this one? Go and watch last episode. Just seeing our Chaos in the Sky was just. Ah, oh, so cool. A uh, nail flick. That's kind of cool. Alright. Almost there, almost there. So this is the final bit. Those trainers didn't want to fight again. Do any of these dudes if we want to fight anymore. We don't. Great. I think it's up this side, I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I run up this bit because I've been flying here for a while. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. So next we'll just grab the berry though, or the Abercorn. Oh, go away encounters. I should have probably uh, popped the repel. But it's fine, it's fine. Because we're almost there. Unlike, oh, can't ex Dude! Why? I'm so excited for this new delay in me. Go away. No! Ah, oh, Poochina! No! <laughs> Why is everything getting in my way today? Ah! You have no idea how excited I am for this. Finished last episode, I was like, okay. Gonna edit everything. Oh my goodness, the battle. I was like, it's time for sleep, you know? Went to sleep and now I've been thinking about it all day. I was like, cannot wait to record. I wanna play, I wanna play. This game's addictive. This game's so good. So now when you play a game where you watch something, you just don't wanna... Give your attention to anything else you want to focus on that one thing just keep playing it and playing it and playing it that's how i feel with this game right now oh it's so good well worth the wait was it like was it two years when i first played it from the demo to this like it's, it's insane so good oh you raise your speed that's fine does this thing have a max of three attacks One more, and you're gonna potion. <laughs> Dude, why is everyone potioning in this game? Stop it. Annoying. Well, I'll answer my question there. Just getting uh, lucky with three and I got five. Right, 
one next. Spiro, uh, yeah, we can stay in. And what else are we gonna do, really? Don't flinch me. Ah, oh, dude, why do I, why do I even open my mouth every time? I'm like, don't flinch, and I get flinched. If I don't say anything, I'm fine. Hmm, I probably should switch here, though. Let's go to Charmander. Use me twice, and you get a crit. Of course, you get a crit. Why wouldn't you? Right, let's go scratch. And beat up again. All good, cause one more scratch. Oh, and you, dude. Uh, we'll go back in, cause if we can just get our attack off first, we definitely. Will. Ooh, let's go. Five times. Although, more than five times. Two is, two is enough. Uh, absorb. Uh, let's get it for now. Splashing into another battle, then just absorbing to get the HP back would be nice. Alright, finally made it to the top. Alrighty. Hey, Voltsy! What a bit, bit of sweet surprise. The fact that you're here means I failed. I suppose I owe you an explanation, okay. I figured out a long time ago that all of this was just in our head. Time is different here, so it's hard to say for certain just how long we've been perceiving all of this, but it feels like decades. For you, it probably feels more like it's been about 17 hours and <laughs> that's probably my game time I think it is. This is a rough estimate. See, my journey started out uh, just like yours. Woke up in Genesis Forest, went back to Hades Town, got a starter Pokemon, so on and so forth. Except there was no Professor Fawn. This Tilltop used to be uh, barren. My journey took me around Ego, collecting the badges, exploring the places, uh, doing the classic sequence of events of an ideal Pokemon adventure. I did eventually uh, come face to face with the space-time deities, and I bested them on several occasions. Went on space adventures with Palkia, travelled through time with Dialga, didn't do a whole lot with Giratina, that one's a bit too unsettling to be around for me. Then, on one occasion, where I did have all three of them by my side, we started on the path of breaking open the multiverse. When working with just Dialga, it's difficult to create divergent timelines because Dialga likes to keep things in order. With the space energy of Polkia and dark energy of Giratina, we're able to make the first alternate timeline. Had them send me back to create a new timeline in which I got to work with a younger version of myself. Knowing what I had learned for my few years of adventuring around Ego, I was able to help my younger self grow and progress more efficiently. Then, working together, we did it again. We continued making branching timelines just to explore and discover all we could in this fan fantastical world. But one day, we hit the limit. We made one too many branch timelines. Unbeknownst, uh, unbeknownst to uh, us at the time, there is a Pokemon that is higher than Arceus, one that came before it. I've named it Archaos. It can exist through all dimensions but prefers to stay in the void around our reality. It lays eggs in that void, for those eggs come new universes, and an Arceus to go with it. When we created the branching timelines, it started to disrupt the dark space that Archaeus and the other universes inhabited. So Archaeus intervened to see what was going on, and in the battle that followed, Archaeus reset our reality, realigning the timeline and setting things right. Before waking up from the reset, for a brief moment I could hear my parents' voices, they're telling me to wake up and that they'd be with me until I woke up. And then, and when I f finally was able to wake up, I was in Genesis Forest again. I knew what I heard, and I knew this time around that uh, what I was experiencing in Ego wasn't real. But I went along with it anyway, because I figured if I'm going to be here, I might as well enjoy myself. Why wake up when the reality I'm experiencing right now is more comforting and enjoyable than the one that I call home? So I stayed here, for years, repeating the same adventures, talking to the same people who always said the same things. I fought our chaos dozens of times now, and it existed in thousands of alternate timelines. I would travel to a time before young me originally arrived, and establish myself as Professor Fawn, the new ecstatic professor to the region. I continued to do that for years, while still traversing time and space with your help, and one day I realised that I had to put an end to it, that I had my fill of ego. It was time to finally wake up. I thought that if I could give you the adventure we craved, and ended with a big climatic battle, it would satisfy us enough to snap out of it. I'd hoped that in the transition after the reset, I would have convinced you once and for all to wake up and go back home. But here you are, yet again. 
not satisfied with your own world, so you return to the one we made up. I suppose we just move ahead with what we always do then. Finish exploring Ego and any other realities within reach. Since I've used our chaos to reset reality, we shouldn't have to worry about Team Fate interfering for quite some time. In this reality, you just became the Trident Tower Champion. No one Ego knows about what happened with future you or the space-time deities. Also went ahead and returned the trophy to the museum, with a new piece of Arcanium that looks just like the Chaos Shard. I didn't seem to notice. So I guess you're kind of free to do whatever now. When you want, come meet me in the lab. I have some cool upgrades to show you. Ooh, okay. Can I get my Pokemon? Doesn't seem to be working. Okie dokie. What's the upgrades? There are two main upgrades that I think you'll appreciate. You have to step into the machine to see them. Okay, I can do that. Here we go. Digitize in. Ooh. Welcome to the uh, virtual briefing room. This is upgrade number one. I've created an efficient user interface to aid you in traversing the multiverse. From now on, you can come and go as you please when it comes to reality hop-in missions. This will be kind of like your headquarters. To see what scenarios are available for you to take part in. Oh, okay. As you're out and about in Ego, I'll be able to keep it updated with any new realities we uncover. That's where upgrade number two comes into play, the exosuit. The suit you're wearing has been upgraded. You can now wear it when you leave here, assuming you don't care if people stare at you. The upgraded suit has a pathfinding feature that will help you scale the sides of cliffs. Oh, okay, there you go, rock climb. I call it the rock climb feature. It's also been insulated to protect you from extreme temperatures. Oh, cool, because we went to that place where we couldn't go into before, so any place that would normally be too hot or cold is now accessible. It's got a built-in thermal scanner as well, which will allow you to see things that would normally be invisible. Nice, we can get the Kecleon. Might be good for hunting Kek, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Take a look around and see if there are any missions you want to partake in. Or take the suit for a test drive out around Ego. The choice is yours, Voltsy. Oh, and I was able to recover some TMs you've, you seem to have lost in the transition back. But add those to your inventory. I'll be on the other, other end at the computer if you need me. Okay, so you got our chaos there. And we got an egg. Oh yes, I almost forgot about that. It seems like shortly after you updated the computer, some sort of an egg materialized. Being able to deduce that it was generated from some sort of malfunction in the code. I urge you to take it. Who knows what may hatch from it. Okay, yeah, get a digital egg. So, what's this? Our chaos generally keeps to itself until it senses a disruption in the flow of the multiverse. If you want a chance to capture it yourself, we're going to have to do a bit of reality hopping to get its attention. We should only have to do a little bit of it, because I know of a more efficient way to summon our chaos. I'm going to put some tasks on display that you'll be able to interact with to get more direction. Okay. Right. So we've got two main things to accomplish if you want to face our chaos. We'll jump... We'll need to jump from our dimensions to another in order to start causing a disruption in the flow of reality. Won't take much, I've got two missions ready that will fulfill the required level of disruption. The other task is that you have to obtain and learn how to play the Azure Flute. Don't worry, as long as you're wearing the Exo Suit, I'll be able to help you play any tune you hear, automatically. The last place we saw the Azure Flute was with Koba, for the summoning of Polkia for the Chorus Festival. If you're lucky, maybe you can convince him to give it to you, if he still has it. Once you've got the flute, seek out a competent flute player while wearing the exosuit so that it can learn how to play like the musician. Um, the, there was a flute player in um, Echo Rock. She was by the Polkia statue, so we can go to her, I'm guessing. But for both of these things, okay, yeah, start in Echo Rock. Check out uh, the other available tasks. Some of them will be necessary and get into our chaos. Okay, so we've got a Master Ball. What's this? Now, this mission is definitely optional. Optional in our pursuit are chaos, but not necessary. Now that you're fully conscious of the dream like reality you're in, you've awakened the Ego Guardians. Miss for Azelf and Uxie. They have the power to calm the space time deities using the red shards that. Oh, okay. We can get our hands on some of the shards that they leave behind. I can use it to craft a Pokeball powerful enough to capture. Oh, okay. You can find these mythical Pokemon that may be able to grant you with the free shards, so the red shards we need. Now you got the Master Ball. This mission will help you in two ways, causing a small disruption in reality to attract our chaos and help us get an item that will help us capture our chaos. The production of Master Balls was shut down years ago, and that's the only thing that we know can capture our chaos for sure. We need some other materials as well, but I will be creating a new ball specifically to capture our chaos. In order to do that, I need the programming blueprint from an original Master Ball. So I'm going to send you back to a location in our timeline that I know for sure had a Master Ball. All you got to do is drop in, get the ball, and come back. We can even hook into their warping tech to make it easier on my end. Uh, not yet. 
just want to see what the missions are first. Yes, the Kanto starter Pokemon. You know, one of the first pieces of evidence that uh, we were dreaming was the starters given to us by Wormwood. We know for a fact that Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle are not supposed to look the way they do in Ego. As I said before, the nature of dreams, a series of minor surreal inconsistencies that uh, we subconsciously ignore. Perhaps just another natural mechanism to keep the dream going. I digress. Figured we should take a few minutes to go and nab us the original Kanto starters. Don't worry, though it's technically theft, it will just result in one of the many timelines where Red partners with Pikachu. Ah, <laughs> this is a different reality altogether you will not be able to bring your team with. Working on a fix for that, but you, sh uh, but you shouldn't even need them in this case. You would be uh, dropped into Pallet Town at an opportune time to grab the Pokeballs they're in. Okay, cool. Right, so we got... We got lots to do. We got lots to do. Okay, so... I think what we'll do is we'll end this part right here. Next episode, I'm gonna go and steal the Kanto starters and then go and do the Master Ball. And, um... Oh, there's, just, there's so much we can do. We've got the egg as well, which looks... We've got two eggs. That's got to be an Eevee, and then... That just looks so cool. But anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.